everybody welcome back to my channel today it is time for June favorites and honestly I felt like I didn't try a lot of new products this month I don't think I bought hardly any makeup at all but as I started pulling everything together that I thought would be my favorites I came up with a pretty good list for thinking that I didn't have anything to share with you so I'm gonna share with you some makeup uh, a couple of makeup misses and then a couple of food items and then a body care item so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the misses oh first I want to address if I look just a little bit different, if you can't figure out what's different, I am having a major allergic reaction around my eyes. I cannot figure out what's causing it. For the past, um, I'd say week, I've been getting these red rashes that are so painful and they're dry under my eyes, above my eyes. And then when I woke up this morning, my eyes were so swollen and red around the eyes. Oh, it's been miserable. I haven't changed anything in my skincare. I haven't used any new makeup. I did open a new bottle of eye drops. I wear contacts and I put eye drops in my eyes every day. And it's a different brand that I was using previously. So I'm thinking maybe I'm allergic to those eye drops somehow. Because then when I put them in my eyes, water and then the eye drops get around my eyes. So if I look just a little bit different, my eyes look puffy and swollen. I also have on really big false lashes to try to hide some of it because it hurts to put um, eye makeup on. So yeah, I just have really bad eye irritation right now. Okay, so back to the June hits and misses. I have two misses this month. The first one is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. And I'm not speaking to the formula on this. I really don't know what the formula is like because I did not wear it for a full day. But I got the shade Goldstone. Um, I saw this on a blogger and it looked beautiful on her. However, when I got it in and I tried to put it on my lid and blend it out, it is so sparkly, like glitter sparkles. Honestly, it looks so good on my hand, but when I tried to blend it out, yeah, glitter just went everywhere. Glitter just started getting in places that I did not want it. It just did not blend out easily with all the glitter that it has in it. It is a really pretty color. I just wish it was more of a shimmer, um, like a satin shimmer than glitter. I'm really loving my Laura Mercier Cream Shadow Stick, and I just wanted to try a different brand and see if Bobbi Brown was any good, but um, the shade just did not work out for me. I will say though, I have small eyes and not a lot of lid space. So if you have larger lid space, you might not get um, all the glitter in places it shouldn't be as easily as I do. So just keep that in mind. I just wanted to mention I'm sending this back because of the glitter issue. Next, and I'm so sad that this did not work, it is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Polish. And this is one of their new top coats. I got the shade Savannah. It's like their peachy, creamsicle looking top coat. Um, I saw, whose video did I see? Puffin's Wife did a swatch video of all of these top coats and every single one looks so gorgeous on her. And I was so excited. I picked out my favorite one that was on her. The Savannah color was so pretty. On me though, it did, just did not look good. It looked really gloopy and it didn't, it just didn't blend out well. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It just looked like it was a layer sitting on top of my lips instead of a really pretty color of my lips. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm not, I feel like I can't talk today, so that's that's not going to make for a very good video, but <laughs> um, if you can understand what I'm saying, it just looked too thick on my lips, and I couldn't get it blended out and spread out evenly, and so I don't know how Puffin's wife got him to look so gorgeous on her lips, but um, unfortunately, this is just going back because I could not get it to work for me. I just know that I'm not going to reach for it if it's hard to work with and I can't get it to look exactly right in just like a quick swap because I, I don't have time for anything other than a quick swap on the lips. Okay, so those were my only two misses this month and then let's get into the favorites. So that lip gloss did not work for me, but the new Marc Jacobs lip gloss sticks were a definite winner. I got the shade One Mauve Time. And it is perfect for my lip color. My natural lip color has a little purple tendency to it. So mauve um, lipsticks are really that my lips but better color. When you do one pass on the lips, it's a very sheer formula. It is very shiny. It has that slight minty uh, scent to it, but it's not overpowering and it does fade. Also, if you watch any reviews on these, then people are complaining that once you click up the lip gloss, you cannot reverse it. You cannot click it back down. So that's kind of a bummer. I haven't had any problems with it so far, and I wear this every single day. This is like my go-to right now. I know I say that in every monthly favorites, but every month it rotates, and I keep one in my purse or right on my vanity 
um, and I wear it every single day. Once I like something, I'm wearing it over and over again. So this has been my go-to, my lips but better color. I can't wait to get some more. So I'm definitely going to pick up another one of these at some point, um, but all the colors look really pretty. So the last video I just put up was all of the BB creams that did not work out for me. There were so many. And then just a week or two after that, I hit the foundation and BB cream jackpot. Like I found what works for me. I told you I'd be talking about this one. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I absolutely love this. I started out with the little sample size. This is the shade 1N and this works for me when I am self tanning. But then I went ahead and bought a full bottle of the lightest shade because I wanted to see just how light it was, if it would be light enough for all the pale princesses and I got the shade 0. CR, which is cool rosy, and I have a really rosy undertone, and I wanted to see how this one worked. Instead of rosy, it almost looks like it has a peachy undertone, but it definitely works for my skin tone, and it is very light. I am proud of Dior. Dior normally doesn't have anything um, in the light ranges, but look just how light that shade is. It works really well for me when I am completely without sunless tanner. I'm so pale. This one's going to be perfect for me in the winter as well when I have no color. Um, and I just love this formula. It is so thin and natural looking. It does have a matte finish, but it doesn't make my skin look super dry. It, it does feel a little bit tight on me. I have a normal skin, and so it makes my skin feel a little bit tight, but if you have oily skin, I think this stuff would be amazing. I don't even have to powder with this. I powder with every single BB cream and foundation that I own, and I do not powder with this because it dries down. It does not transfer, it stays, it does not budge in the summertime. Um, even when I sweat, it is so good, so good even without powder. Now I will powder it and it doesn't look bad, but I tried it one day without any powder and it just stayed put so beautifully that I didn't want to add an extra layer. So this stuff is so good, I would highly recommend. I still love my Dior Air Flash, but the two main differences in that one, the Air Flash does have a natural radiant finish and this one is matte and so for oily skin i would say go for this one but both are just so beautiful on the skin and don't go anywhere i love a foundation that does not transfer whatsoever like on my finger right now i'm not getting any foundation off on my finger and i'm wearing the air flash um, and the same thing goes for this one if dior is not in your price range i have good news for you i love the covergirl true blend matte made foundation now i do have a love hate relationship with this and if you've been curious about it and been watching reviews, you may have heard this already, but I am one of those people that get the little white granules on my face when I use this foundation. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, when I apply this foundation and spread it out, there is like white sand all over my face. They're like hard granules and they are bright white that show up and are kind of hard to get off of your skin. I hadn't watched any reviews when I first tried this foundation and I thought it was my brand new Beauty Blender. I thought my Beauty Blender was leaving specks all over my face, so I washed it a couple times. It was still happening, um, and then I pumped this out on the back of my hand and spread it out, and I saw the white granules, so then I knew it was this uh, foundation, so I got a, another shade that I own. I bought a, a darker shade for sunless tanning, and I tried it. Same thing happened, so I thought maybe it was just this bottle. No, and other people are having the same problems in all different shades, so I don't know what the deal is. So I do love this foundation. It is a very pretty, comfortable matte shade. It is transfer resistant like it claims. It lasts 12 hours on me, really long lasting. I think this is a wonderful foundation from the drugstore. Well, I think it's a wonderful foundation from anywhere. I'm not biased drugstore or high end. I just want it to work the way I want it to work, and this one does. Now I got shade L20 and, and despite there being um, numbers lower than this, like L10, L15, L20 is actually the lightest shade that they make. And so that's it right there. This one works great for me when I am pale. So the way I get around the granule part, I do my makeup, I let it kind of set a little bit and then when I go to put all my powder over it, um, my brush just kind of brushes away those granules. And then, But yes, the brush will just kind of brush away the granules. It doesn't work so well when your foundation is still real wet. But um, if you give it just a minute to set and then you're going in with your powder, I find that you are able to brush away those granules. So they need to do some quality control on this, whatever may be causing that, and then it will be just perfect. I still think it's a really good option and I still reach for this one because it is really pretty on the skin and it really does last. 
Now I did finally find a BB cream that works for me, although this may be a little bit too drying for my normal combo skin. I still reach for it on days that I'm going to be out and about in the hot sun because it stays put and it looks beautiful. It is the Dr. Jart BB Disapore. It's supposed to minimize skin texture and your pores, cover blemishes, um, complex pore care and tightening. I do find that it really does blur your pores well and it has SPF 30. My problem with the Dr. Jart Premium was that it was too greasy and the shade was all wrong. This one is not greasy whatsoever. It dries down, it's very matte, it stays put, it does not transfer, um, and it blurs pores, so it's really good. It is a little bit drying, so I think if you have oily skin, this would be incredible. I got the shade Light Medium, which I don't think should ever be called medium in any sense of the word. It's very light shade, and it is also it, it doesn't have as much of a gray tone as the other Dr. Jart did. It is very neutral to cool toned, but it works for me. I don't think medium skin tones could wear the light medium at all. I think this shade should be called Fair to Light. Um, and I don't know what the medium to deep shade looks like, but if you're anywhere on the medium spectrum, you're going to want to pick up the medium deep shade. So yes, if you're really oily and looking for a BB cream that um, controls oil, stays put, still has SPF 30, and isn't greasy in the slightest, this would be amazing for you. I wore this just yesterday. We had a 4th of July party. We were outside in 100 degree heat for several, several hours. I was pouring sweat. And then when I got in the car and I cooled off, I looked in the mirror. Not only had this not budged or cracked or looked any different, but I was still completely matte. There was no shine to my skin whatsoever. So I thought that was super impressive, especially to have sunscreen in it. You may think this is totally random, and it really is, but I wanted to share with you my favorite bikini trimmer. This is the Panasonic Close Curves uh, Bikini Shaper and Trimmer. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because a couple of years ago, I had a really hard time finding a bikini trimmer that I liked. A lot of the bikini trimmers I would try would really pinch really easily and nick you, and the blades, I don't know, they just weren't comfortable, if you know what I mean. Then I tried this one and I fell in love. And the reason I'm mentioning it now is because mine got really old. It wasn't working correctly anymore. So I reordered this one and it's only $14 and it's so good. So I'm going to show it to you here. It has this little guard on the top. You can set it to any level. You can set it like to the highest level if you want a longer length. Or you can set it all the way down to the lowest level and the guard keeps it from pinching or cutting you. And you can also take it off completely and I still find that these blades don't pinch or nick quite as easily as a lot of the other ones that I tried. So the other thing I absolutely love about this one is that there is no charging cord. It just takes two AA batteries. So when those run down, you can just replace them. So I just thought I'd share this with you because I really do like this trimmer and it's a good affordable option that is actually pretty high quality. All right, and last but not least, our two food items this month. I have been obsessed with these. The first thing I discovered was Hint Fruit Infused Water. I love this. It has no sweeteners, no artificial sweeteners, anything. It's completely unsweetened, so it's just steel water that has a hint of fruit infusion. This one is pineapple. It's really good. My other favorite flavor is watermelon and I haven't tried them all yet. I need to order some more because um, my Target doesn't have all the flavors that they make. But this is so good and such a healthy option. I need to be drinking more water but the little bit of flavor really helps me to get more water intake and to reach for water over something else. And secondly, is not a healthy option. Well, not really, but it is amazing and so good. Now, I'm probably really late to the game on this, but this is the Boom Chicka Pop, but it's the sweet and salty kettle corn flavor. Now, I have never been a really big kettle corn fan. I really just don't care. I could pass on it any day of the week. And then I tried this, and I could eat this every day of the week. It is so incredible. I got my friends started on it. I know they probably hate me for that. This is the perfect combination of sweet and salty. Such a good snack. This is 140 calories per bag and 8 grams of sugar. So you could definitely have worse um, like desserts or snacks, but I'm telling you, I'm just telling you for the flavor, this is amazing. All right, that is it for my June hits and misses. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so down below. I would love to have you back for future videos. You are definitely not going to want to miss my videos in July because it is Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. I am so freaking excited. 
This is my shopping Olympics. It's like my time to shine with my shopping skills. I love this sale so much. I am going to be covering the sale here on my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be updating on there. I am going to be all about the sale this year, so be sure and tune in for that. Um, I have a couple more videos that I want to get up before the sale, but it is coming up in just a few weeks, so I'm really excited. I'm sure and stay tuned for that, and if you aren't subscribed, be sure and do so, and you can also follow me on Instagram as well. All right, that's it. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.